HBO founder Charles Dolan was one of the first investors in the cable television industry. Labovitz v. Dolan was a lawsuit that resulted from his efforts to get the network Cablevision off the ground. In the early 80s, Dolan organized a limited partnership called Cablevision Programming Investments, or CPI, which invested in companies that produced and sold cable television content. Dolan and one of his companies were the general partners. CPI sold 85 limited partnership units to wealthy investors. CPI earned $34 million in 1985 and almost $18 million in 1986. Each limited partner reported a taxable income of more than $400,000 in 1985 and $200,000 in 1986. Because Dolan didn't distribute enough cash to cover these taxes, the investors had to pay their taxes out of their own assets. Dolan's company, Cablevision Systems Corporation, then offered to buy all the limited partnership shares for about two-thirds of their book value. The offer would allow the limited partners to convert their taxable income into a tax loss. Partners who chose to retain their shares would post a sizable tax income. More than 90% of the limited partners accepted Dolan's offer. Joel Labowitz and a number of other former shareholders then sued Dolan for breach of fiduciary duty. Labowitz argued that Dolan had never intended to make cash distributions, forcing the partners to use their own money to pay taxes on investment income that they never saw. He alleged that Dolan had used economic coercion to force the investors to sell their shares to him at a bargain price. The trial court found that the partnership agreement gave the general partner full responsibility and complete discretion in the management and control of the business. Dolan therefore had sole discretion to determine how much cash was distributed. It dismissed the case. On appeal, Labowitz argued that the trial court had ignored Dolan's fiduciary duty to act in good faith and instead treated the partners as if they were arm's-length strangers. He thought the court should have inquired into Dolan's intent to see whether his actions violated an implied covenant of good faith and fair dealing. The Illinois Court of Appeals heard the case.